Singapore will be progressively raising its carbon tax rate to reach 50 to 80 Singapore dollars per tonne of emissions by 2030. A sharp five-fold increase from the original plan to raise carbon tax to 10 to 15 Singapore dollars per tonne. The announcement made at the recent budget 2022 will help the city-state to meet its new goal of reaching net zero by or around mid-century, aligning with that of the Glasgow Climate Pact. The first increase will see carbon tax rate jump to 25 Singapore dollars per tonne in 2024 from $5 currently. This will be followed by an increase to $45 per tonne in 2026 and 2027 and reach $50 to $80 per tonne by 2030. We believe the progressive rate increase will give businesses more time to adjust and implement energy efficient projects. The carbon tax covers around 80% of Singapore's greenhouse gas emissions and will apply to all facilities producing 25,000 tonnes or more of greenhouse gas emissions annually, such as power plant operators and other large direct emitters, mainly from the manufacturing, waste and water sectors. While the impact of the progressive carbon tax increase should be immaterial for businesses as most will likely pass the cost to consumers, it should motivate individuals and companies to pursue improved energy efficiencies and other emission reductions over the long term. Singapore's latest move also bodes well for the development of the carbon market here as large emitters will be able to buy international carbon credits to reduce the carbon tax they have to pay. According to financial market data provider Refinitiv, the value of global carbon market surged 164% to a record 851 billion US dollars in 2021, with the global carbon market expected to continue its exponential growth trajectory as countries race to reach net zero by mid-century. Decarbonization is an investment theme that cannot be ignored.